So welcome back to the project. Um, as you can see, I got the door um, up here on a convertible top rack. Uh, this is the rear driver's door. Um, I've already started, or actually I've already completed the window, power windows and the locks. Uh, what I'm gonna show you today is how I put this together. Um, there was a lot of back and forth. I actually recorded two videos and then completely redid everything. Um, but I figured I would show you exactly how I put it together, what I used, um, how I fabricated the, um, the crossbars and the braces and some of these um, brackets, power window motor, um, and then did some lathe work or had my uh, uh, friend do some lathe work for the, for the locks. So figured I would just show you exactly how I'm, how I'm installing it and um, that would be better than showing you how I'm welding and making mistakes. So let's stay tuned and uh, we'll bring you in here and show you up close. Okay, so watch my last video we got these locks put in um, I did have to redo these locks a couple times um, since then and what I did end up putting in is the power door lock with the actuating rod up in here um, so that's been updated since last time uh, I did notice that I got these from Auto Lock, and I did notice, and they, they were nice enough to send me two more sets because I couldn't get one of them to work. And I noticed that uh, if these were really tight, and the you know all four were really tight, I couldn't get it to unlatch. But if I took these out, they would unlatch. So, and that was only on one lock, but they were they sent me out new ones. Um, it's sort of hit and miss. I, I don't know what's causing that, but um, anyway, want a full transparency there. So these I had made from Send Cut Send. I cut these out, or had them cut these out. Um, just put some uh, cabinet screws on this end. This end I did weld, um, just because I didn't want to have a gap here for the interior trim, because the interior trim is going to go. You know right alongside this edge and I didn't want to stack uh, metal plus a screw head here um, on the back side I'm less worried about it because you're you're basically never gonna see the back side of this door so um, added piece of treated wood in here to do the window track this is just standard aluminum window track I was a or, tr or a U channel I was able to get at Home Depot it actually is a, exactly the right size um cut all those i have another piece over here but i it's it hides the uh, screws for the lock here's a here is a more detailed look at what i was doing here I, I bent these pieces up had them cut those and i just tack welded them in so this piece will go over here to hold the motor in um, the only thing that I took out of the door was this strap, which, you know, I don't, I don't know really what it was doing before, but this U channel is significantly stronger. Um, I took a piece of oak that was right here for the window stop, took that out cause the motor sits right here. And then I added this is the is the stop for the motor. Um, so once I assemble it, you'll see where it stops. The only issue with this back door is it's like the you know old '70s cars where the back the back window only go down so far. Um, the front window, as you can see over here, I have this one done as well. Um, this one will go down all the way. Um, that gives you an idea of what. I had these made from send, cut, send with the bolt pattern for the motor. And then I just broke this piece and screwed it on. So I made these for the front doors. 
and then obviously the rear door doesn't have the same wood so I had to just trim off the piece and I'll show you as I'm assembling this sort of how this all ties together to get the motor um, get the motor and and track into one two three four mounting points um, so let me uh, I'll do a a video or a um, time lapse of, of putting this thing together and I'll stop if there's any details over here you can see what I was looking at for the I had to cut this off put a quarter inch rod on the end I had these made um, with a shoulder on them then I had these are cut out uh, this out uh, of send cut send with some holes in them those holes are for uh, you know three different places I could put a return spring and then this is a captured bearing this that goes on the end so that this handle doesn't wobble so I'm actually holding it here and out here um, and then this is the the lock rods which are way beefier than they need to be but um, yeah they work so here's a bunch of pieces I had to cut and then these are uh, look in here this is what those turned pieces look like and then some you know lock nut or some uh, set screws that I in here I have a little groove that I that I cut in here that actually it, it sits in I I may end up machining this um, on the mill but it, it seems to work good for what it is so anyway I will uh, I'll get you watching me put this thing together uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how uh, your project might uh, might work with power windows and locks. So the, the backing plate on first on uh, the motor assembly. Uh, to the two left bolts hold the backing plate on. The right bolt is sandwiched in between the horizontal door support I had made and the motor plate. So it's motor is really held on by three attaching points. And then I'm going to go over and put that capture bearing in that uh, that I purchased a quarter inch rod capture bearing. Um, it's just in there with machine screws now. Just dry. It'll be uh, Loctited once everything's ready to go back permanent. Uh, so a little adjustment there and, and getting some of those pliers in, inside the door there. So now I'm going to slide the, the door handle through with the coupler or the, the sleeve through and then all the way into the capture berry and then there's two screws on the escutcheon of the door handle that hold it into place um, not much much pressure on that so here i'm just i'm snugging down those lock screws on that that uh, sleeve to get it where i think it needs to be we'll adjust it fine tune adjust it a little bit later and then um, we put the locking rod or the handle the mechanism rod in place um, that takes a little bit of finessing because we have uh, we have uh, some brass bushings and brass washers and got to do some adjustment to make sure it's it's operating correctly and, and smoothly so once that's in place then I take the um, the window track and we'll put that over top it actually covers up all this mechanism here um, and the window tracks just held on by two countersunk wood screws. Uh, nothing terribly special. Inside that track, I already have the felt that's going to slide into the track or glue into the track. And then it glues into the natural track of the upper part of the window uh, once that's once the window's made and, and everything. Um, so here I'm adjusting adjusting everything and make sure it's operating and then the window track is going to be going in so like i mentioned before there was a diagonal metal braced across this door um, it seemed to be very loosely installed so I, I really think that these horizontals uh, that i have that are broke bent metal um, should be much stronger uh, especially with the grade eight or the grade five uh, cabinet screws i have in here um, this wood is incredibly hard. It's ash, so.
So here I found the easiest way to do is to put that window in place and then just slide the motor down. Um, putting that motor in place, there's two wires and then there's a, a track tube that goes into place. So you gotta finagle that. Um, there's an upper screw and an upper bracket that I just hand tighten and then put in the lower one with those cabinet screws, all pre-drilled. And then once the lower one's in place, I will put the um, put the final bolt in the motor, one of those of the three motor um, holes, and then you know, tighten up that upper one. And then now I'm using the uh, little 12 volt Milwaukee battery tool and and operating the motor. Now it does look when I lower it here like the motor the window does not go down very far. It does go down about two thirds of the way of the opening, so it's a sort of an optical illusion. Um, but it does operate just fine, and um, I'm quite happy with it. It's a quick, quick and dirty. I'm not sure. Putting uh, Alexis just talking to me. Um, that's a quick and dirty um, power window, power door lock. Uh, I think I am going to do a power internal handle. Um, I haven't figured out, basically it would be a stacking another one of these power locks that would just tie to the lock here. I, I haven't figured it out yet, or I'll or do a manual, I'm not sure. Um, that's, that's to come down the road. Um, so now that I got both doors done, uh, I will put this one back on probably today. And then uh, my plan is to flip the car around and I'll get you guys out here to see what the car looks like outside because quite frankly I've never seen it outside on the wheels. Probably get it dusted off and uh, blow, all the, blow all the dust off the inside. Flip the car around, do the other doors. Um, so it might be a little delay for the next video, but I do have my radiator for PWR. Um, so I'll do, I haven't even looked at it yet, so I'll do an unboxing video of that. I'm excited to see what that looks like. So that'll be, after the other doors are done, that'll be the next phase is to uh, mount the, or get, make the radiator support, mount the radiator, um, and start that, that um, project. Um, after that, I'm not sure what, but um, it'd be nice to have all the doors done, get them open and closed, get the power windows in. Um, I am going to paint the door jams. I will finish the door jams like it would be a show car um, from the in from the inside of the door in, um, and then the outside will stay the way it is. So eventually, I'll need to bodywork this and paint it. Um, obviously, the wood is going to stay. It's going to be covered with a door frame or door uh, card. Um, so that's the plan there. And uh, I think that's it. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the delay on, on the videos, but uh, just been busy. And once I started working on this and not videoing it, I figured, you know what, I'll just show them exactly what, what the finished product looks like. So appreciate it and stay tuned. <laughs>